Come see me in Huntington Beach, Los Angeles, and Sunnyvale, California, as well as Austin, Texas, Louisville, Kentucky, Minneapolis, Minnesota, and St. Petersburg, Florida for a special Scissor Bros Live and more. Get tickets and new merch at jeremiahwatkins.com. Hey, are you subscribed to the show yet? Leave a like and a comment before you go. Now enjoy Stand Up on the Spot. Thanks for being here. What's up, Comedy Store? Welcome to Stand Up on the Spot. How are we feeling tonight? I am your host, and this is how the show works. We, the comedians, are coming up here with no prepared material. We're going to ask you guys, the audience, for suggestions. You're going to yell stuff out, and then we're going to create Stand Up on the Spot. You ready to kick this off, or what? What do you say, huh? Yeah! Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, Can I get a suggestion? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Next suggestion, dude. Quit trying to bully me with nerd words, dude. Parasocial. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that, dude. You're making me feel insecure. I have no idea what a parasocial relationship is. Sir, do you know what a parasocial relationship is? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I have the highest IQ in the room. Next suggestion. <laughs> Honestly, I apologize for the parasocial... <laughs> That was a good suggestion, dude. That was from the freaking heart. And you know what? I'm a dummy, dude. Just ask what it is. What is it? It's the relationships you have with people on the internet that you don't know. Oh. Oh, arrogant. <laughs> wow. That dude just got roasted by a different audience member. So I was freaking right, dude. I was freaking right. <laughs> Let's grab another suggestion. Bachelor party. Bachelor party. Dude, my bachelor party was the nerdiest of, or the most wholesome, whatever you want to look at it as. <laughs> More wholesome than nerdy. Uh, I went to a pool hall <laughs> with my friends, and then we went to a Perkins and ate pie afterwards. <laughs> And that's how I got crazy right before I got married. It was pretty crazy. <laughs> I find out later, my, my wife, like, oh, yeah, we, like, I thought we were doing, like, you know, like, one last night kind of thing. <laughs> I'm like, I ate pie and I went to a pool. I slept with, like, three guys that night. I don't, <laughs> like, what? I thought I... <laughs> uh, yeah, bachelor parties. Uh, I never feel honored when I'm invited to a bachelor party, I feel inconvenienced, always. <laughs> oh, I've known you for so long. Oh, you should come skiing with me in Colorado. If you have known me that long, you know I'm not coming, dude. <laughs> I'm not going on a freaking destination bachelor trip to watch everyone get wasted and me be the sober guy in the corner being like, I remember everything. <laughs> That's what you guys don't understand when you, when, when like, we're not judging you as sober people, but you're like, last night was crazy, I don't even remember. And then the sober people are like, I remember literally everything. <laughs> and it wasn't as good as you remember. <laughs> Your memory is so hazy of how epic the night was while like I'm walking around being a live human dog sitter. <laughs> good boy, come over here, come over here. Uh, next suggestion. The zoo. Uh, one more time. The zoo. Brazil. Brazil. The zoo. The zoo. <laughs> I mean, that guy thought it was Brazil as well. <laughs> and this guy's like, the zoo. <laughs> you have never been to the zoo before? <laughs> you know, with rhinoceros. <laughs> That's, I've never heard a human say the zoo that way in my life. <laughs> never in my life. Uh, during the pandemic, we uh, downstairs here at the comedy store, there's a glass uh, that you can look into the original room in from the patio. 
And we, as comedians, were so desperate to do comedy during the pandemic. We were on the other side of the glass trying to make people laugh through the glass. <laughs> and it's literally the closest I've ever felt to being a monkey. <laughs> I'm like literally like doing that. Like, <laughs> and then people are just like, nah, man. <laughs> like you can't even hear the laughs through the glass and you're just like sweating. You're like, eh. And then you're yelling because you get like irate. I'm like, dude, this is what animals feel like. They <laughs> literally like they show off. They do something cool like at the zoo or something. They're like, yeah, you like that? You like that? And then people are like, yeah, I've seen better on National Geographic. And then they start raging and it's, like, it's the exact same feeling. <sighs> I like this crowd. Next suggestion. What do we got over here? <laughs> Repeat that for me. <laughs> no, I want you to think about what you just said. Did you say anal option? There you go. Wow. <laughs> There's so many, that's such a weird collaboration of words, my friend. At least it's an option. It is an option. <laughs> it's always an option, my friend. <laughs> At least it's an option. Have you two been together for a while? <laughs> Has it been an option for you? <laughs> it's like, it's always an option, perhaps. I mean, I think that's why God in invented the butthole. When a woman is on her period, there's always another option, <laughs> you know? But some guys, they don't, they don't freaking care. They don't freaking, they'll go medieval in there. They'll freaking, they'll go dragon jousting in there. They don't care, once a month, they freaking Thank you for that. We rode that to the ground together, didn't we, brother? Yes, we did, yes, we did. Uh, let's grab another suggestion. Man, there's something about Christmas morning that I love now because I get to do it my way. I got to Taco Bell on Christmas now. Because <laughs> I'm a freaking adult and I call the shots. One of the best I've ever felt in my life. I felt like, I, like I'm not a man with a lot of money, but on this Christmas, I, I felt like it. One Christmas, I went to a, a combination Taco Bell KFC on on Christmas. And there was this lady that was being awful to this employee. And his name was Charles. And she was just like, just going in on him. My order's not ready. When's it gonna be ready? They were short staffed, it's Christmas. My wife and I are there with our child and we're like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm realizing out loud this story sounds so sad. <laughs> So I took my wife and my baby to KFC on Christmas. <laughs> it's all we can afford, all right? I'm not a man with a lot of money, but on this day I was. I wanted to treat my wife and baby to KFC on Christmas. She had worked hard all year. She deserved it. I was like, babe, I'm gonna take you to somewhere nice. Oh really, KFC. And after this lady was just relentless on this guy over and over, I go, hey, Charles, don't listen to her, man. You're doing great. I gave him a $20 bill, and that changed how that black kid thought of white people for the rest of his life. Because <laughs> the lady that was going in on him, a white lady. And I just magic erased the memory of the Karen in front of me. <laughs> and I was like, hey man, Charles, we all not like that. <laughs> and $20 in KFC money is $1 million. <laughs> Who's ready to kick off the show, guys? What do you say, huh? <laughs> I'm loving the energy in here, guys. You're doing amazing. 
Your next comedian coming to the stage, one of my sisters in comedy. I've toured the country with this woman. She is on the podcast Bad Friends right now. I love her. You love her. Please welcome the great Jesse Johnson to the stage, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. Oh, thank you for that warm welcome. I'm a... I am that uh, angry white lady from the KFC <laughs> from earlier. <laughs> so, it's really making me nervous to be here right now. I didn't think he was going to out me like that. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, so any suggestions? Uh, aliens. Aliens? I think they're real. Yeah. Yeah. And that motherfucker right there <laughs> is not real. <laughs> I just leave. <laughs> I don't know, that guy could have been an alien on that plane. I think he was just nodding off. I think, if you saw the video, there was a guy with a hoodie. Uh, do you guys know what the, I assume by the laughter, you've seen the video. <laughs> None of the people in this audience are real. <laughs> no. I used to be so into conspiracies. You too, or could you just tell? Me yeah. too. Yeah. I, I believed in reptilian shapeshifters. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> you, yeah, you, you, yeah, yeah. Who's, who do you think is the biggest reptilian shapeshifter? Hillary Clinton. Yeah, Hillary Hir Clinton. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, 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 she is, uh, every, no, she gets such a bad rep, you know? The worst. If, if she really was a reptilian shapeshifter, you'd think she would just shape into something else at this point. <laughs> <laughs> like, why stick with it? It's gotta be fake, right? I mean, she has been gone for a long time. She could be Joe Biden, we don't know. <laughs> but you know, she'd want the credit for first female president, so probably not. It would be crazy if Joe Biden transitioned though. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Leave it to a man to be the first female president. <laughs> I feel like that got its breath. <laughs> uh, what else we got? Penguins. Penguins. <laughs> I like you, man. Are <laughs> you surf? Or? I just love penguins. I could, yeah. <laughs> I could tell. You guys, are you guys all, all four of you friends in the same group? How's this party together? But he's cool. Oh, he's cool? Because I was like, should I get him out of here? <laughs> See me, it's cool. Your arms are crossed. Are you uncomfortable? Oh, you, yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey, I'm sorry I yelled at you earlier. <laughs> we good now? <laughs> Man, you three, you kind of remind me of penguins a little bit. <laughs> Just your laughs are like, oh, it's a very nautical vibe here. I love it. Yeah, the fanciest animal. Man, they the men carry the babies in that. What a perfect world. <laughs> uh, yeah, all right. I'm more of a dog person, so I'm gonna move on. Uh, what, what else we got? Uber drivers. Uber drivers. I thought you said Uber drivers, like uh, cleaning service, I don't know. Um, Uber drivers are uh, pretty eccentric out here, yeah. I think, actually, I think Uber is getting better, and I really do think it's because of the writer's strike. <laughs> it's crazy you bring that up. I've been thinking about that, because I travel a lot, so I take a lot of Ubers, and like, yeah, these past few months, they've, they're really professional now. Like, you can tell they like, need it, you know? <laughs> One guy took a, this was before the writer's strike, one of the like crazy drivers out here that I had once, and he took a phone call as he was driving me here to the comedy store, and he was just, sorry I have to take this. Like he did say that, but he was talking about this lady, and she was trying to buy a car from him. I guess he was a car dealer on the side. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, don't get high off your own supply, but <laughs> he's driving, and he's on the phone, and yeah, I, I don't know, man. He was just like, he was yelling at her, because, or he, she was yelling at him because his friend was supposed to hook her up with a great deal on this car, right? And it didn't come through. So he goes, don't worry, I'm gonna help you out, I'm gonna help you out. And he hangs up and immediately calls his coworker who was supposed to hook him up with a deal. And his coworker answers and immediately says, I got the deal, man. And he goes, 
no, you didn't. I just talked to the lady. She was crying. You didn't get the deal. And he goes, yeah, okay, well, you should have seen her ass, man. It was coming out of those shorts. And, went, uh, and, then, <laughs> and then I got to the store, and he's like, are you a comic? And I was like, yeah, I'll probably talk about this on stage someday. <laughs> How about for you? You seem like you hate me right now. But <laughs> just the legs crossed, arms ca- crossed, and a look of a disapproval in general. But, uh. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Uh, Barbie. Barbie? Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm like Hot Topic Barbie or something. I don't know. You look like a Barbie, though. Oh. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm like... Like very conventionally beautiful. Um, I, <laughs> I'm not like I know you guys are together. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> I never saw the movie. I want to see it. I, I had Barbies myself. I buried them <laughs> in my backyard. <laughs> it was like a fun game I played with my dog. My dog would dig them up, and, I, <laughs> and my mom would freak out. I think that's why I liked it to see the reaction. And my dog would just bring up chewed up naked dirt covered Barbies. <laughs> She's like, who am I raising? Uh, but yeah, the movie looks great. Uh, <laughs> you look fantastic. Uh, congrats. And, uh, <laughs> Another suggestion? We gummies. Oh, <laughs> this guy. Uh, Star Wars. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I w- <laughs> there, there wait. You, wait, say that one more time. I've did, did somebody suggest Star Wars already? No, but I could tell you were waiting to say it. <laughs> yeah. I think Star Wars is better than Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I said it. Uh, I just think if I was going into one of the universes, I would do s- go to Star Wars. It would be crazy if you did go to space, though, and uh, you just saw a bunch of political figures <laughs> that were out of form. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I wonder if their political party also, they think they have like human shapeshifters. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I did a lot of cocaine in my past, but I <laughs> let's let's do another one. Reese's pieces. Oh, Reese's pieces, uh, delicious. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I have nothing on that. I should have stopped at Uber to be honest. <laughs> but like that one was really smooth. All okay, right, let's do one more. Okay, well, okay, you're just naming things in the room now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do one, one more last one. Citrus and chips. Citrus and chips? It's the Indian accent, right? So, situation chips. Situation chips. I hear you loud and clear. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm not, it's not the accent. I not. Oh, I'm. Th- I, okay. Oh, like I think I know what you mean. My mind went straight to some kind of nautical, like uh, <laughs> driving machine. Like, uh, <laughs> am I gonna take the boat if I'm just going across the way, or it's a situation ship? It depends on <laughs> which one you're cruising to. What is a situation ship? Every relationship nowadays. A real relationship nowadays. You okay, sir? <laughs> you, you finding out a lot right now, or <laughs> is that what you would call it? I, I suppose. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is what the Barbie movie did, man. This is <laughs> and I'm all for it. Hey, let's bring up your host, Jeremiah Watkins. Thank you. Keep it going for Jesse Jetski Johnson, ladies and gentlemen. This was fun. Yeah, killing it. So we're going to uh, take uh, a few suggestions together, see what we can do with them. <sighs> yeah. What? Someone <laughs> just died back there. Uh, yeah. Artificial intelligence. Artificial unofficial intelligence. Unofficial or artificial? <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, unofficial. Unofficial. <laughs> 
I don't know how this happens. It's unofficial. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. Unofficial intelligence would just not be taking your SAT and being like, I'm smart. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I did. <laughs> That's what I did. Yeah, yeah. Unofficial intelligence. Let's go. <laughs> Forget CIA. <laughs> Where's unofficial intelligence? Um, artificial intelligence. Are you scared at all? Are you scared at all of artificial intelligence? Um, I think I pretty much know where this is gonna go. I watched The Matrix many times. <laughs> I feel like you can't be scared of artificial intelligence and have a smartphone. Like you gotta, you gotta start the battle now. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or if you go to the grocery store and you choose self checkout, get out of here. <laughs> like, they're already winning. Choose one side or the other. Yeah, you gotta start on the ground level. And if you're choosing computers over humans. Yeah, all the parents that are throwing iPads at their kids, but they're like, I'm scared of AI. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take them to KFC for once. Right? <laughs> Trust me, my son does not have a phone. <laughs> <laughs> not yet, man. Uh, let's grab another suggestion. Weed gummies. Weed gummies. Are you a, a CBD gummy kind of girl? You like uh, the weed gummies, the THC gummies? No, they're terrifying. <laughs> I, I used to smoke a lot, but I don't really anymore. I think I'm perma-fried. You guys know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Looking at the tie-dye section of the room. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, <laughs> deep fried. We're perma-fried, dude. <laughs> but they sneak up on you, you know. Yeah, well, you can't you can't count on when it's gonna hit, right? You can't count on it. You don't know how much is in it. And mm. yeah, anytime I've taken an edible, I just feel like I'm dying for like twelve hours. But I do feel a lot better once it wears off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I did something. Have you you never smoked weed, have you? No, uh, uh. Let's what? get them high tonight. <laughs> <laughs> These guys just start throwing gummies in my mouth. <laughs> uh, what's the highest you've ever been? Uh, I, I know exactly. I took a gravity bong, but it was like homemade out of a milk jug. You cut the bottom off and filled up the kitchen sink. And just. And then... <laughs> There's stoners in here that are going, yeah. <laughs> They're starting to float, yeah. <laughs> but this was like in 2010-ish, and I feel like... and. I worked at a smoke shop, so I kind of saw some of the evolution of like glassware that you smoke out of, but mm -hmm. nowadays it's wild. People are putting weed up their butt. <laughs> Have you heard of that? Well, what if that's my entry point? <laughs> and again, I'm like, wait, we can, there's an anal option? Hey! hey, baby! Hey, baby! Let's go! Uh, let's grab one last suggestion. Mormonism. <laughs> Just because I, I said I haven't gotten high, this is like, this guy's a freaking Mormon. <laughs> it could be you or him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I guess it could be me or him. Are you Mormon? <laughs> oh. Do you want to be? Because I could Yeah, we're you looking for new people. <laughs> you want us to jump you in, bro? Hey. <laughs> put that, uh, put uh, that uh, down, put that down! <laughs> I'll throw the word of the Lord right down your freaking face right now, dude. Well, why are there any bro Christians out there? You know, there should be like, like, oh, JC? Yeah, he's my freaking boy, dude. Dude, JC goes hard. <laughs> dude, JC goes hard in the paint, and like, you should check out this scripture for real. <laughs> his dad's so tight, man. <laughs> Did you say his abs? His dad's so tight, oh, but his, his abs rock. But his abs rock, too, dude. Dude, he's, you know dude, Jesus lives, He's freaking man. cut on that cross, dude. He's freaking cut. Water into wine, man. That party was awesome. <laughs> dude, that was lit, dude. <laughs> I wish I could do that. Water into wine. Oh, they should make water into white claws, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, give a call for Jesse. Thank you so Johnson, much. Johnson, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Are we having a good time so far, ladies and gentlemen? I love y'all. Uh, this next comedian is fresh off of a world tour. You guys are going to love him. I always love watching him. Please welcome the great Lance Can't Stop List to the stage, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. Jeremiah, everybody, come on. One more time. One more time. Yeah. Suggestion. People laid on me. 
it seemed like uh, tennis for midgets or something, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just they can go across court a little faster with the pickleball. But ping pong was too small. They go, we need something in between. <laughs> because the table break when you're a little person on a ping pong table. So they had to go to Elon Musk and they go, what if it's a little bigger? Yeah. Pickleball, there we go, smashed it. Anybody else? <laughs> Yeah, fucking crashed it. <laughs> Other suggestion? Lawyer commercials. Lawyer commercials. Are you in legal trouble? <laughs> yeah? No, I mean, if you're getting your legal advice from a commercial, you're not going to do well. <laughs> right? Just go straight to jail. Save yourself some time, you know? Have you been in legal trouble before? Uh, no, 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 no. Sounds like you're in so much legal trouble. Right? <laughs> No, no, nah, nah, no, nah, no, definitely. He fucking leaves. He goes, I've said too much. <laughs> That's cool. Anybody else? Question? Yeah, or uh, suggestion? Acid. Immigrants. Immigrants. <laughs> Sounds like you're against it. Or <laughs> <laughs> Just leading the witness. Immigrants. <laughs> I lay a breadcrumb trail. Immigrants. <laughs> this guy tried to cancel me at every show. He just say hot button. He goes, trans. Immigrant. They're great, they're great, you know? Yeah. I'm brown, so You're brown? I have eyes, I know. <laughs> I can see, yeah, I know. I don't think this guy's very tan and came to a comedy show tonight. <laughs> Nobody gets this tan. The sun cannot do this. This is genetic at this point. That's God given brown. What kind? Where are you where are you from? I'm uh, from Qatar, I'm Arab. Okay, cool, yeah, Qatar. How's America? Cool? It is cool. Yeah, yeah, good answer. <laughs> he gets to stay here. <laughs> That's the citizen test. Is, is America cool? Yeah, all right, welcome. <laughs> here's your flag, here's an M80, here's a porta potty. <laughs> You're American now. Once you blow up shit, you... They give you a Dodgers hat and they go, You're American. Any, any other uh, question or suggestion? Yeah. Tequila. Tequila. It's popular now, huh? feel like girls, it's cool to say, like, yeah, I like tequila. <laughs> like, if, if you were a basic bitch millennial, you would say vodka. But now Gen Z is like, tequila. <laughs> or if you want to be like, you get like a mezcal. Like, no, I do smoky. Like, I'm like a guy. <laughs> I'm not like the other girls who do tequila. I do a mezcal. I can take it. <laughs> I've done a puff of a cigar. I'm like one of the guys. <laughs> I like smoky tequila. <laughs> It's not cool for a guy to be like, yeah, I'm in the bathtub and I drink wine. I'm like one of the girls. <laughs> I light candles and I have a bath bomb, you know? That's not valued, but guy here is mezcal, like, whoa, this bitch is cool. <laughs> whoa, she likes smoky tequila. Any other suggestion? Airplane. That's a dicey one, dude. <laughs> <She's>... <laughs> Let's gloss over that one. Uh... <sighs> this guy and this guy should team up and just try to... Fucking immigrants, airplane. <laughs> You're like a cancel audience member duo. You're like the smother brothers of canceling. <laughs> airplane, yeah, it's efficient. You get places faster, yeah. Anything specific about airplane or no, just open-ended? You know what's crazy? I, I'm going through TSA, you know? Yeah, yeah. Same, Same? you do too? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that makes sense, yeah. Just obvious, like, who has parents in the house? <laughs> yeah. Everyone goes through TSA, you know? And it's kind of a hassle, you know, they, they squeeze the toothpaste because they think it's going to be bomb or something, and everyone hates TSA. But then they had a frame picture of the Twin Towers. So TSA go like, this is why we do what we do. Because <laughs> when they feel like shit and everyone treats them like shit, they look at the Twin Tower and go, this is why we squeeze conditioner into a trash can. <laughs> This is why. And then they put their knee in the old white lady's back, like, I need to do this. <laughs> this is for America. Four ounces, bitch. <laughs> not on my watch, not at LAX. Oh, you have clear? Right this way, right this way. Do you have clear or TSA pre? What difference between uh, clear and TSA pre? I feel like clear just TSA pre with flavor, flavor hype man. <laughs> 
<laughs> you have a lanyard, like, yo, yo, what the boss? Come over here. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, 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 have a good time. It's like a club promoter, like, oh, you flying? Yeah, come with me, dude. Yeah, he's with me. Okay, yeah, he clear. <laughs> it's $5,000 a year. You go, yeah, it's worth it. <laughs> Any other suggestion? Mobile homes. Mobile homes, trying to not be in one. That's my goal. It's <laughs> my goal in life. Just no wheels in my home is kind of my baseline, you know? I wonder though, like you, you think homeless people look at people who live in RVs parked on the side of the road, like a Malibu mansion, like wow. Man, if I had that. Oh, you love homeless? I mean, what's going on here? <laughs> oh, I give money every time I see them. Any other suggestion? Barbershop. What's the what? This guy is saying words weird all night. <laughs> all right, is this zoo guy or somebody else? Uh, this is your, yeah, this is a weird pronunciation table over here. <laughs> you, you say barbershop? Barbershop? Soccer. Soccer. I know football. That's why it threw me for a loop. So it's fucking weird. Yeah, Messi. Messi playing for Miami now. And he's like, it's like he's playing toddlers. <laughs> this is so easy. He's just, just goal, goal. The other day, the score was 37 to 2. <laughs> Messi, very good. You fan of soccer? Yes. Yeah, you play? No. No, just fan, aficionado. No talent. No talent? Whoa, guy. <laughs> He's roasting yourself for no reason. You go, my dick not very big either. No one ever want to fuck me. Like, I'm getting sad, dude. <laughs> I was just trying to get information from you. You're like, my dad thinks I'm a loser. I'm like, whoa. It's like a weird fetish you have. You go to comedy shows just to shit on yourself. <laughs> I have no talent, I, don't, I, I love soccer, but I'm no good at it. Uh, my dick's very tiny, I kind of rub up against people until, you know, something happened. Any other suggestion? Billionaires. Billionaires, yeah. What is it about, like, something, when you become a billionaire, you want to leave sea level for some reason. <laughs> you just make so much money, you're like, space! <laughs> or you make so much money, you go, oh, I need to be in Titanic. <laughs> I need to go to Everest, I have so much money. I can't stay with people at my level. <laughs> Poor people are at sea level. I need to get up or down. <laughs> I gotta get away from fucking Target people. <laughs> fucking Target and Macy's people, gross. I need to hire a Sherpa to take me to Everest. Yeah, I just, I, never, I have no desire to get high or low, I like, I like sea level, it's cool. <laughs> yeah, I go to Topanga Mall, it's cool. <laughs> Any other suggestion, yeah? Kentucky waterfalls. Kentucky, what is, oh, you're fucking slamming me, okay. <laughs> That's what it was, I, I thought it was a legitimate suggestion, but this is my high school bully show up tonight, guys. <laughs> very cool, very cool. Any real suggestion that is not a veiled insult? <laughs> Anybody trying not to hurt the comedian feeling tonight? <laughs> Fast, fashion. Fast fashion. Okay, so like sweatshop, pretty much. <laughs> it's, we, we put a cool word for sweatshop, huh? No, it's not children making clothes. Fast fashion. <laughs> how, how did it get fast? Oh, oh. Oh, oh. No one oh, no, knows, but check this out. Oh. oh. Fast fashion. Yeah, cool, cool just to like put a ribbon on a term. Sort of like when, when like, uh, you know, women who fuck on camera call it making content. <laughs> I'm a content creator. I don't fuck guys for money on film. I'm making content. <laughs> I'm not a prostitute, I'm a sex worker. Everyone's sex worker tonight? <laughs> Jesus. Love homeless and sex worker. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Any other before I leave? No, we fucking tapped it all out. We covered everything. Cool. Sushi. Sushi. Yeah, remember, like everyone loves sushi right now, but you old enough to remember when people were terrified by sushi. They go raw fish, I can't do it. I have to put it in the oven. 
And, but that was kind of like businessmen would do it first. They would be like, check this out, salmon. Mm. <laughs> it was like fear factor for associates. <laughs> and they go, whoa, if he's eating raw salmon, maybe our money is safe with his firm. <laughs> Mr. Yamamoto, like, oh, and he's cordial with Japanese. <laughs> All right, I'm done. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. That is, yeah, let's get Jeremiah back up here. One more time for Lance Cain. Guys, guys, thank you. Ah, uh, you don't have to. Fuck. Fuck. You're too kind. You're too kind. Other than this fucking waterfall comment, I mean, you guys were great. You guys, you was razzing me from the yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, I like your hair. You want to take it outside, huh? <laughs> I do more oh, than whoa, jokes. Whoa. Yeah, you're safe. Okay. You're safe. Okay. I can jump far too. How far can you jump, Lance? It hasn't been Guinness. I have to get them to the soccer field where we're going to do it. <laughs> I don't want to waste a big jump and be like, ah, oh, fuck, Guinness should have been there. <laughs> right? Yeah, no, no. Yeah, I'm totally. not going to burn, burn a jump. Yeah, you don't want to burn jumps. <laughs> yeah, you know, you jump. Yeah, I, I jump. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good, right? It's pretty good, yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's grab a suggestion. <laughs> Judo. Judo or Trudeau? Trudeau. Oh, Trudeau? I still don't know. <laughs> Gee, what is up with the marble mouth fucking audience tonight? We got Zuzu, we got soccer, we got Trudeau, Judo. Enunciate. Before the show, say, you know you need unique New York. You know, do drama exercise. So, sorry, what was it? No, come on. I, uh, did you, what was it? I think she, she corrected and said Trudeau, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trudeau. Yeah. I mean, how can what? you not think of the blackface? Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to bounce back from blackface. <laughs> right? You can't be like, guys, bit. it was a different time. <laughs> I now know putting black on your face is bad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Would it have been, been better? There's been some comedians that have gotten away with it. Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy Fallon. Yeah, 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 yeah. He did Chris Rock. If it's in comedy, then it's... It's what? in comedy, it's different. I think that guy was like, I'm a, uh, this is Halloween. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was trying to be funny on SNL so you get the pass. Right. Showing up at Halloween, like, what's up, guys? <laughs> you can't do that. That party foul. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the definition of a party foul. It's very, very party foul. Do you think it would be less if it were brown face? Like their hierarchy of face? I think there are hierarchies. It's like Johnny Walker Black, Johnny Walker Brown, just, there's, there's levels to the facing. Right? He did calico face, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, what, what if you do stripes? People don't know what to make of it, like, you know, black stripe, He went full white. Rambo on us, it he was. Went, he went Rambo. Yeah, uh, let's grab another suggestion. Acid rain. Uh, acid, acid rain. rain um, How quickly do you know it's acid rain? <laughs> Are, are you walking? And you go, oh, that's kind of hot. Well, <laughs> well, who is the first kid to be like, it's raining out? <laughs> do you know anybody who has experienced acid rain? No. Do you know anybody who's experienced acid reflux? I'm lactose intolerant, so I get it all. Just the making time. about you all the time. <laughs> Just, how's he going to spin this about him again? Just, I'm, I'm lactose intolerant. We have a grand giveaway of milk, so you can't have it. <laughs> yeah, we're going to serve milk at the yeah. end of the show. Uh -huh. We're like Oprah. Like, there's milk under your chair. There's milk under your chair. Oh, this has been here for 30 years. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody wants it. Have you ever experienced acid rain, Lance? No, never had acid No, but I wouldn't let it hit me. I'd be too quick. <laughs> I would dodge every raindrop. Do you think you could outrun a volcano? I have. <laughs> You've never done? Not, not, not personally. I like. I'm from Kansas. Like, there's tornadoes in Kansas. Have you ever been Outrun. hand to hand combat with a tornado? No, before? I've never done tornado. Yeah. No. I want to. <laughs> can you set it up? Maybe I, like Jake Paul versus tornado. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can set that money, up. Yeah. Yeah, that would be actually very entertaining. A natural disaster versus. That's what it's going to get to. Just Jake Paul versus bear. And everyone's like, he's good. He's training. He's a good boxer. <laughs> <laughs> but the bear is 30 years past his prime. Sure, like, sure, sure. <laughs> Just done hibernating. <laughs> it wasn't a fair fight. Sure, Jake knocked the bear out, but... Uh, let's grab one last suggestion. Shark bites. Shark bites. Shark bites? Or fights? Bites? Shark, <laughs> shark bites. Shark bites. Yeah. 
Uh, I always uh, uh, feel weird watching um, the people who are like get the shark attacks who surf, and then the, they like get back in the water and they do it again. Mm. Like perseverance. Yeah. Well, that's what they call it. I just call it like you're just insane. <laughs> like just retire. Yeah, if shark shark eat you. Yeah, if a shark ate one of your legs. <laughs> Yeah. I like how the, uh, this audience is like, no, you should yeah, get go back, back out on that surfboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What <laughs> Literally they... nobody was behind <laughs> me on that thought. They keep going back, then that arm get eaten, then they go back in, this leg get eaten, and they're on Oprah, they just a torso, like, I'm going to keep on going, the shark going to... Not going to let the shark win. It's, it's a motorized surfboard Sh that has... Yeah. <laughs> you know, shark bites sound kind of cute, though. Shark bite? Yeah, shark bite. Yeah. Yeah, like a, it sounds like a fucking handy snack or something. <laughs> right? Or yeah. dunkaroo. It sounds like something that like you'd feed your kids. Honey, do you want any shark bites? And they go, yeah, but it's a real shark that is going to eat them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Shark bite. Shark bite. It's like late-term abortion. <laughs> shark bite. <laughs> no more kids. <laughs> New from Nabisco. Yeah. And it's not your fault because it was the shark. <laughs> you get your life back. Shark bite. Guys, here we go for Lance Stop. Thank you, thank you, guys. Thank you so much. I'm going to jump. I'm going to jump. Get Guinness. Thank you. All right, how's the energy doing in here? I love it. Your next comedian coming to the stage. You may have seen him on Saturday Night Live. I always love watching him. You guys are going to love him. Please welcome my brother, Luke Knoll, to the stage. Come on. One more time for Luke Knoll. You don't recognize me, I was fired right away. I perform stand-up with a guitar because I don't want the other comics to like me. Hit me with a suggestion. Motherfuckers hit me with something. Astro-turf. Astro-turf! They're getting rid of it in the NFL now Because all the guys are ripping their fucking ACLs out And they're like, I think it's the AstroTurf And I'm like, I think it's the 350 pound dude Running and hitting you Let's not blame the fucking fake grass And I'm also thinking like, I'm a fan of the Cincinnati Bengals And I'm like, you're lucky if it's fucking AstroTurf they're probably just like, we just left it. Whatever grass grows inside of there, that's what we have. It's all natural. It's just gravel at this point. I always got a kick out of when the Oakland Raiders would play. And the fucking baseball diamond was part of their stadium. You know what I'm talking about? And you're like, y'all are a poverty franchise. Get the <laughs> Hit me with another suggestion. Say it again. Cologne, oh yeah! I just got back from vacation, yeah. I went to Europe, hold the applause, hold the applause. Rode around on the train a little bit, got on the train just a little bit. And I was in France, Paris. Je parlais le français un peu, mais je ne comprends pas le français. And I was over there, and I was like, every time I go to a little Parisian cafe or whatever, I would be like, every single guy in France is either horribly, horribly, horribly teeming with B.O. And I mean, you're like, Jesus Christ, y'all don't shower here. Or they're horribly, horribly, horribly way too much cologne. And you're like, is there no in between? <laughs> Have y'all not heard of deodorant at all? Deodorant is kind of a happy in between a little bit. You don't have to absolutely coach yourself and just fuck you amounts of cologne because you don't shower or shower. Showering would probably be good as well. I don't know. Let's, let's change up. Let's change up the chords. Hit me with another suggestion, belly wrong. Magic fallopian tubes is what I would say. 
magic fallopian tubes oh let's take it to the harry potter universe for a second i never really understood i'm not a big harry potter guy but i was like but there's like muggles in the world and there's also witches and warlocks and shit right and they fuck <laughs> Some of them witches are mudbloods. That's what they call them, which is like, it's fucked up that we hadn't thought of that as a racial slur, yeah. Cause that's like super hurtful. <laughs> I just remember reading Harry Potter as a 12 year old and being like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> mudbloods. What I'm saying though, is that there's a very good possibility that a fucking like, Magic dude, like a fucking wizard, was like, I'm gonna go to Philadelphia and have sex with an Eagles fan. <laughs> and just my magic scene and then her and up them fallopian tubes. And hopefully the magic does not burst them and pop them too. Oh, yeah. Hit me with another suggestion. Jam bands. Jam bands. I'll take it. <laughs> I went to fish for the first time. It's not my vibe, but I'm like, the people watching is a 10 out of 10. I see you should absolutely go. If you've never been to a jam band place, every third person comes up to you, right? And they're like, do you want a nitrous balloon? <laughs> and I'm like, I've pretty much done all the drugs, but this is one that I'm like, I'm fine. <laughs> and then they're like, it's like whippets. And I'm like, oh, still fine. <laughs> yeah, I did those when I was 11. And I remember fucking huffing those whippet cans cause I wouldn't eat the, I wouldn't even, I would just do it as a drug. I wouldn't even eat the cool whip. <laughs> I would just suck it down and you, and you're high for like, and I assume if anyone's done a nitrous oxide balloon, they do not last that long, right? Like you're taking little hits, cause I remember when you do a whip it, you're like really, really huffing a can and it's kinda cold and you're like, I might die. And then you're like, oh, this is a fun feeling. And then for like six seconds and then you have a horrible headache in a way that's like you're doing permanent damage. <laughs> You're not getting the mode of function back that you used to have. Oh no. Which is why if you go to fish, and this is actually true, as you're watching the show, people will tell you, I saw him in 93, <laughs> back when Trey was on heroin, and they were fucking melting your face the whole time. And I'm like, yeah, they're fun. And he's like, they're not good anymore. They did too much drugs, and, and you can tell it. It's hurt them. <laughs> All right, hit me with another one. Amish Batman. Amish Batman. All right, I'll take it. I kind of like to think about. Let's let's break it down for a second. Amish Batman. What is Batman's superpower? Money. <laughs> Amish people are kind of like, it's not that they don't make money, because they definitely do. Yeah. My wife's side of the family is from Amish country, and my, my father-in-law built houses for a living. And he's like, I got an Amish guy who builds the mantelpieces for the fireplaces of the houses that I build. And he fucking made me a fresh one. And I gotta go pick it up And you cannot call ahead And let them know that you're coming You kinda just have to show up And then he's like He drives me out there And he's like, go get the mantelpiece from their barn And I'm like, eh, what do I say? He's like, just yell at them And they'll be like, what's up? I'm dead or die Or whatever, it is, right? And then I'm like, okay And no one was there at all I walk up to the Amish people's house and I'm looking around and it's a ghost town. I'm looking around like I am supposed to be here. And I slink inside the barn and I'm like, this is probably the mantelpiece that he was talking about. It's the one that's on the sawhorse. And I grab that shit 
and I walk away with it and I'm like I feel like I am committing a crime then out of nowhere I feel a Amish bat orang wrap me up trip me in the yard and pull me off and the guy and I'm talking about Amish Batman was like Dude. he's like you at least need to mail a letter in advance and I don't know why he's Dutch, but he's Dutch. That the pencil ain't your Dutch. Oh yeah, Amish Batman. Let's get let's get Jeremiah back up here. Thank you so much. Keep it going for Luke Knoll, ladies and gentlemen. You want to sing a little tune together? I, w I would love that. <laughs> yeah. Can we get a suggestion? Cereal. Cereal. Are you good? Cereal. I'm good with cereal. How did I know? <laughs> Top three cereals. Go. French toast crumb. S tier. S tier. Cinnamon toast crunch. S tier. <laughs> maybe, 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 maybe Reese's cereal. Yeah. Reese's Puss. Reese's Puss. It would have rhymed the same. <laughs> <laughs> I like that you kind of cucked yourself on the round there. I think I agree with the top two. Yeah. Well, what Let about me. that third one? I'm going to hit you with and bear with me here. I'm also considering drinking the milk afterwards. That's Cocoa Pebble. Cocoa Pebble. Oh. A little Cocoa Pebbles milk is an S tier milk. Fruity Pebbles milk, we can throw it in as well. It's a little bit sugary. Yeah, you're gonna get diabetes. And it's funny because they're like, cereal's part of a balanced breakfast. It's not. It's actually not at all. It's bad for you. I love, I love me some cereal but as i get older i start to get indigestion in the morning <laughs> it's a lot of milk oh it's a lot of milk it's a lot of milk it's a lot of milk for the 30 minutes and the 40s and the 50s and the body when you're in your 30s you can't chunk milk like that no more i just want to chunk milk like a child in the summer day when they're pouring down my face Pour it down your face. I would always eat it when I got home, and then my dad would come home, and he'd be like, "I'm gonna make dinner. Have you had anything to eat?" And I'd be like, "No." <laughs> <laughs> Hit us with one more. The apocalypse. <laughs> That's a good way to close. <laughs> okay. The apocalypse is coming. And so am I. <laughs> if we're all gonna die, we might as well have fun doing it. Let's try some things that we've never done before. Yeah, like fingering. Sure. I skipped fingering. Yeah. <laughs> I went right from making out. To full on penetration. Full on penny penetration. Penny 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 penetration. Full on penetration. Full on penetration as the world crumbles all around us. Ooh, we all die. We got ten minutes to go. We and only got 10 minutes to go. <laughs> Until the earth rains fire upon our bloody corpses. Walk me through how you're gonna spend the 10 with the missus. I'm gonna spend nine and a half convincing that we should have sex. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. We gotta do pen a 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 p
invitation. One more time for Luke Noel, ladies and gentlemen. Because this crowd is so amazing, I think you guys deserve a surprise drop-in. Uh, this is my one of my favorite brothers from New York. Please welcome the great Mark Norman to the stage, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. Hey. Wow. How the hell do you follow that? That was great. Penny, penny, penny pasta. All right. <laughs> All right, that was amazing. Man, don't you wish you could play an instrument or sing? <laughs> All I got is dumb jokes about the Holocaust and uh, abortion. All right, but hey, I think you got to yell out something for me. Is that how it works? Camping. Camping. Hmm, well, went downtown. I think REI is killing it. You know, it's uh, <laughs> nothing but tents down there. Holy shit. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's just urban camping. That's the whole downtown. Skid Row is just... Where do they get the fucking tents? I mean, tents are like, you know, $100. Isn't that weird? How do they get that? Is someone donating them tents? Like, it's like a bunch of Cub Scouts. Like, here you go, where we grew up, or whatever. <laughs> you take these tents. Uh, yeah, camping is weird. It's kind of like homeless appropriation, you know? Right? <laughs> Just out there in the woods, and you know, you, you gotta talk to each other. Oh, that's, that's the hardest part. Anytime I've been camping, you just end up getting drunk and fucking your family. But, uh, but yeah, all right. All right, good one, sir. Sorry, I took that to a weird place. You were probably like, hey, a wholesome campfire, maybe a ghost story, and here I am with right out of the gate. All right. Florida. Florida. Mmm, okay, Florida. All right. Well, you know, I've been to Florida. It's fun. Something about that state just makes you want to put on a MAGA hat and fuck a guy's wife. But um, it's like a, there's an evil there, you know? It's something in the, the marsh. It's a weird mishmash of old people, Jews, Cubans, and what the hell, Hulk Hogan. You know? It's, it's a wacky place. The state flag of Florida should be a coked-up iguana on a jet ski shooting an Uzi, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. Crazy place. It's fun, I, you know, everybody shits on it, but it's fun to visit. I, I don't know if I could live there, because I would do bath salts and shoot up a gay club. But, uh, you know, it's... Just kidding. All right, I'm just trying to... I always go too dark on these. Um, that's why writing is good, because you can go, oh, I shouldn't say that, Ooh, you know? But when it just comes out of my mouth, it's fucking horrific. But yeah, Florida's fun. I like it. Spring break, that whole thing. Remember Carol Baskin? That was Florida, you know? Tiger King, all Florida. Florida's wild. Florida's like if fentanyl was a state, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. Good one. Birkenstocks. Wait, hold on. What? Birkenstocks. Birkenstocks. All right, all right, hippie. Uh, okay, Sarah, you got a hacky sack. Definitely. Come on. Uh, Birkenstocks. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't wear them. They, they smell, you know? <laughs> It's a weird look too. It's like a, it's kind of like a if Crocs got high on weed, you know? That's a Birkenstock. If Crocs did like a bong hit, um, but you got Crocs. I'm not gonna make fun of them. Don't worry, you look terrified. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know much about Birkenstocks, but they were hot for a minute when I was in college. Everybody had Birkenstocks, and uh, now they're all unemployed. But uh, you seem like you're doing all right. You got a great head of hair. I'd blow you. Um, <laughs> What's with the ma Are you guys tie-dye buddies? Is that a thing? I didn't plan it. Coincidence. You didn't plan it? No. Man, you guys are fucking made for each other, huh? <laughs> How cute. You soulmates and you don't even know it. All right. Are you wearing Birkenstocks, sir? I am. Oh, can I smell them? <laughs> what the hell? They smell great. <laughs> That's leather insoles. Oh, uh, leather insole. All right. Well... All right, now your panties. No, I'm just kidding. All right. Um, okay. Just joking. All right. I'm a comedian. Uh, all right. Good one, sir. Birkenstock. All right. We got something out of nothing there. Zoom calls. What was it? Zoom calls. 
Zoom calls. Mm. Well, I did a lot of Zoom comedy shows th- during the pandemic. Those were brutal because uh, you, you bomb in your house. You know? <laughs> it's one thing to bomb in a club. And you go, oh, that hurt. Holy shit, I'm humiliated. Then you go home, you drink and eat ice cream. And you're like, all right, I'm all right. I'm all right. But, but when you bomb on your computer, then you close it. And you're like, oh, I'm still here. <laughs> that sucks. Um, but Zoom calls, the worst part about the Zoom calls, you have like a decent meeting. Oh, thank you, sir. That was great. All right. Take it easy. And you're trying to find that X and you're both looking at each other and you're like, oh, yeah, uh, hold on. You know, it's like when you say bye to somebody and you walk 10 feet and you're like, oh, we're both going the same way. Yeah, oh, shit. All right. You know? All those weird, awkward moments. You know what's another one? You ever go bowling and you, you get a full gutter, just a total gutter, didn't even touch a pin. You have to do that weird turn around and walk back and they all have to be like... Oh, yeah. We don't think you're retarded. All right, yeah, okay. Yeah, I hate the Zoom. I'm so sick of the Zoom and gloom, I called the pandemic. That's all it was, was Zooming. God, that pandemic sucked. I think we're about out of it, you know? Yeah, pandemic was hell. It was like the check engine light in your car, you know? Because at first it was scary, but after a while you're like, fuck it, I gotta go to work. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, hate the pandemic. Uh, oh, wow, hey, look at that, okay. Yeah. And I think, you know, Joe Biden got corona like 11 times in November and didn't kill him, so I think we're all right. <laughs> uh, Biden. All right. We'll do that, uh, we'll do that later. But all right, keep it going. These are going well. You guys are a nice crowd. What do you got? Surprises. Mmm. Well, surprise, that's very vague, because surprise could be like, hey, we threw you a party, or hey, it's your baby. You know? You're like, ah, shit, this is a horrible surprise, you know? Or like, ah, oh, shit, I didn't know you had genital warts. Ha <laughs> ha. That's a bad surprise. So, you know, Nagasaki was a surprise, you know? I mean... <laughs> I just saw Oppenheimer, so uh, you know it's fresh in my brain. I don't think they saw that coming. They weren't like, "Oh, we should get out of here." They were like, "What the fuck's that?" Ah. Um, twice, Hiroshima, as well. That's the sequel. All right. Um, D and D. D Yeah. Dungeons and Dragons. Yep. Oh well, we found the virgin. Um, <laughs> oh come on, he knew it was coming. Um, yeah, D&D. My brother was into that, you know. Uh, yeah, it's a board game. You know, they'd be like, oh, we got two hit points. Can we take the action out of it more? You know, like, it's like dragons and monsters, and it's still fucking boring. That's wild. Imagine, like, a porno like that. Okay, you read the card, hey, eat ass. And you're like, <laughs> yeah, that would suck. The whole fun of eating ass is you get in there, you go, ah, you didn't think this was happening, did you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, some people don't eat ass, which surprised me when people don't eat ass, because it's so close to the butt, the vagina. They're so close. You know, if you're painting the fence, you're going to hit a tree every now and then, you know what I mean? <laughs> you might as well pop over to the neighbor there. Yeah. Right? You know. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, my lady, I wear a bib, so she's ready. But, um, okay, that was filthy. All right. All right, we'll do one more, and we'll get out of here. Caffeine. Caffeine. Mmm, most uh, sold drug in the world, caffeine. Most addicted drug. Yeah, people love that caffeine. Yeah. The weird thing about caffeine is it's we all just know it makes you shit. You know? <laughs> Everybody that's just understood. Like, ah, I had my coffee, so... And everybody's like, of course, of course, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. And everybody's like, the, the Starbucks line at the airport's always crazy. And I, the airport shits, have you noticed those are the worst shits in the world? You know what, I think it's just multicultural shits. You got like a, like a Mexican guy and a Muslim guy and a black guy walk into a stall. No. And then they, um, <laughs> but they all walk in there and you're just like, wow, these shits are like international. They all sound different, you know? <laughs> yeah, caffeine will get you shitting, so... Um, yeah, how about these people who don't, they start drinking coffee and they're like, whoa, I was too addicted, so I stopped. I'm like, what are you, a fucking serial killer? <laughs> I mean, uh, I love coffee. I need it. Uh, all right, well, that was a bit of a lackluster ending, but we gotta, we gotta move on. So I'm gonna bring uh, your host back up here, then we'll do a little, uh... <laughs> yeah. 
Hey. Hey, keep it going for Mark Norman, uh, guys. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, you got a haircut. I did, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you look good. You look oh. like a teen star in the 90s. Okay, I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was on home improvement. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that feels good. That was one of my favorite shows. I loved it, too. Yeah. Uh? All right, I know. That's all I got. That's when you like that. That was like uh, before, like chauvinism was like a like a hot button issue. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like, this, this is how men do it. Right, right. <laughs> and, yeah. and now ladies are like, but we can do it too. And Tim Allen's like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> he was a horrible stand up. The only joke I remember of his was. Uh, <laughs> Because I used to watch a lot of stand-up as a kid. I loved stand-up. And he had this horrible joke where uh, his wife's like, well, I'm going. you got to clean the house. I want you to vacuum. And then he was like, oh, you got it. And then he watched the game because every guy has to watch the game. And then she comes back in. She's like, hello, where are the vacuum marks? And he goes, I must have sucked them up. <laughs> it's pretty bad, right? <laughs> Wow, yeah, that, that's that's not how I remember the show at all. No, that was his act. I know, I know, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, the sitcom, like, he had writers. Yeah, that helps. Yeah. <laughs> not now, though, they're striking. I know, yeah. that has got to be tough. Yeah. You hear what the Netflix guy said? What? He said, I, I, I hope they lose their houses. I know. Crazy. Yeah. That's some, like, supervillain shit, you know? Yeah, they're probably going to make a movie about it and then make more money off of it. <laughs> Like, that guy was planting the seed. He knew exactly what he's doing. He's like, Sony needs to be a villain in this scenario. <laughs> Maybe that's what Skid Row is, just old writers. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay. I mean, no, we stand with the writers. <laughs> and, and sit with them in the tents. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's grab a suggestion. Oh. Roll it. Rolex. Rolex. Are you a watch guy at all? You, Look you at this watch. piece of garbage. I got this out of a fucking gum machine. But um, I have a Rolex, and I can't wear it. Yeah, as a comic, it's like it I don't looks be that guy. super flashy. Yes, yes, I can't do it. I don't know. It just sits in a in a room. Did you? Uh, were you friends with a guy in middle school who had the calculator watch? Oh, the Asian. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Love that kid. You've never met a person with a calculator watch that wasn't Asian. Think about it. Yeah, yeah. Which is weird because they their head's a calculator. They don't need the watch, you know? They're brilliant. They're smart people. Very smart race. I had a buddy uh, who was Asian who had the watch uh, that he would reprogram the TV from... Do you Whoa. remember that back in the day? You could change the channel and turn on the TV so what? it looked like the room was being haunted in the middle of the class. Wow. It would just turn on and the teacher would go, oh. Wow. And then the Asian kid in the back is like, it's all falling in a line. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Did he, I feel like that would turn a lady on. Oh, he was like, it was like, he was like a nerdier guy, but like when he did stuff like that, like the girls were actually, they would actually look at him, pay him uh, some yeah. attention. I would definitely be turned on by that. <laughs> and I have an Asian fetish. So there you go. <laughs> You're like an Asian man and woman, you know. Yeah. Take it or take it or leave it. They're similar. Yeah. You know, hairless. All right. Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> Went too far. Went too far. I feel. I don't I, see gender. I, <laughs> I feel like you're, like you're typing in like keywords. You're like Asian couple calculator watch. <laughs> it's like this is very specific. Yeah, he's turning the TV on and me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, let's grab another suggestion. Buskers. Buskers. What's a busker? It's a someone uh, like, uh, like a hobo. Like a vin No, it's well. <laughs> I mean, like a vagrant, a derelict. <laughs> <laughs> it's somebody who like maybe is like playing music or someone who's oh, asking for tips. Oh, okay. Yeah, but they can. A lot of times they end up being homeless because you know. Well, can I say this about this? Is what this is so the most LA thing I've ever seen. I saw a homeless guy today, and uh, I had food, and I said, "Hey, man, you want this food?" And he goes, "What is it?" And you're like, "All right, come on." <laughs> and I was like, "It's uh, Indian food," and he goes, ah, "I'm gluten free." <laughs> Gluten-free, hobo. What is that? That's L.A. That's a very L.A. thing. Very L.A. What, that's, what, what's next? A vegan hooker? Come on. 
Yeah, she'll never take your meat. <laughs> yeah, she's like, I don't swallow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's grab one last suggestion. Online dating. Ooh, the apps. Yeah. I never went down that wormhole. Really? No. Yeah, I was dating before the apps got popular. They're pretty good. I mean, the best one was uh, Bumble for me. Yeah? Because the gal is already in to you, so it's less... It's less pressure on you. Yeah, you're like, all right, I don't have to do, I don't have to win you over. Right. And you're a woman, so I'm in. You know. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, the bumble was great. Cause and also I gotta say, ladies, no offense, but not great with the pickup lines. You'll be like, "How's your Tuesday?" I'm like, "Come on, whore, that's it. What are you going? What are you doing? We're trying to get something started. How's my Tuesday? What is that? I, I wanted something, something fun, and snazzy." Do you uh, remember, uh, like, outside of How's Your Tuesday, was there any other bad pickup lines you remember off the top of your head? Well, then you'd get a lot of, like, be funny for me. You're a comedian. You're like, ah, I'm immediately turned off. Yeah. You know? What am I, a jukebox? Is it, is anybody, has anybody in this row right here of ladies, have you been on the apps? Yeah. Yeah. I'm like an Asian with a calculator watch. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Asian? Oh, okay. You, you thought about it. No, like, he just yeah. discovered he was Asian yeah. at the same time. He's like, yeah. He's yeah. coming out as Asian. I, I tell her whatever she wants to hear. Yeah. It's like, do you, like, <laughs> do you have a calculator watch? He's like, I do now, yeah. <laughs> do you have a pickup line you use Well, when you were single? Uh, not. I, I, I wasn't great with women. What? Um, with I that, know. What are you kidding with that honker? Come on! All right. You could really hit a clit with that thing. Yeah. Guys, give me going for Mark Norman. Right, thank you. <laughs> All right. Are you guys ready for our final comedian of the night? You may have seen this next comedian on New Girl, WandaVision, or Don't Worry Darling. I love watching this guy. You guys are going to love him. He's also part of the great sketch comedy troupe, Goatface. Please welcome my brother, Asif Ali, to the stage, ladies and gentlemen. Come on! Asif Ali! Hello! How are you? Might get a couple reels out of this. <laughs> That's all I do it for, man. Fucking get an ass shot. Dude, I'm fucking pumped for the reels, dude. Fuck comedy. I'm just trying to get content. You know what I mean? We're on strike. Oh, okay, any suggestions? From the back of the room. You know what I mean? All these front people are getting too much light. Literally, you guys are glowing right now. They never have this here. You guys are getting lit beautifully. What do we got going on in the back here? The internet. What the fuck is that, dude? <laughs> Jesus Christ. The internet? I, lo I love the internet. <laughs> this reel's not gonna get any plays, dude. <laughs> Ain't I, 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 no, I, okay, all right. This guy's got his nuclear plan. I like the internet. Um, I'm on it too much. Are you on it a lot? Oh, yeah. Yeah, my phone tells me. I, I turn on that bullshit thing where it tells you how many hours at the end of the day, where it goes, all right, you were on for... All of, all of the hours, 20, 20, you slept for 22 minutes and then pretty much the rest was on your phone. We're all getting tech neck now, have you seen that? That's all the thing, like we're all turning into little goblins now. Because <laughs> we use our phones so much, you know what I mean? I can't wait for the next generation of fucking TikTokers, you know what I mean? Just fucking hunched over and they're just like, here's, here's my three types of depression, you know what I mean? And it's just like up here and they're like, they're all young now. You know what that kind of makes me think? That kind of makes me think of like eventually there's gonna, you know there's like those hype houses for TikTokers where all the TikToks and Instagrams, they like fuck each other and then just shoot content in, in the same like building together. That means one day they're all gonna be old, right? All these motherfuckers are gonna be like 90 years old and they're gonna be like in a retirement home hype house. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's gonna be an old folks hype house where they're gonna have like their oxygen tanks. You know what I mean? And then they're gonna set it up and be like, all right guys, we're gonna do an unboxing today. <laughs> this is the cocktail of pills I will take to end my life. <laughs> Please subscribe. <laughs> okay, let's get another one. Billionaire boxing. What did you say? Billionaire boxing. Billionaire boxing? 
What does that mean? Oh, oh, Zuckerberg was fighting somebody? Zuckerberg and Musk fighting. Zuckerberg and Musk are going to fight? Yeah. How am I just finding out about this? <laughs> Holy shit. The gods of the internet are about to fucking throw down right now? Oh, boy. When did you hear about this? I mean, they've been talking about it for a while. Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg? Two of the most noodly noodle white dudes of all time have been talking shit to each other? Yo, that's hilarious, dude. That's that's the internet right there, dude. Those are them Twitter fingers, you know what I mean? Just talking shit. So that means Zuckerberg got like gassed up one day. He's like, you don't fucking talk shit about me. You don't talk shit about me. I'll fucking come, I'll fucking swing on you, dude. Wow. And then Elon Musk was like, how oh, you fucking, how oh, I went to space. You don't talk, I, I flew a dick space rocket. You don't talk to me like that. That's awesome, dude. I'd love to see that on, on fucking World Star Hip Hop, dude. <laughs> right? And then right at the end, those, those, those fucking heroes from the Alabama brawl come out. And that dude comes out with a chair and fucking bonks them on the head. You know what I mean? Some real, that was some real WWE shit, wasn't it? I love that shit. For someone who was in the Marvel Universe, I was like, this was the best Avengers movie I've ever seen. <laughs> The guy who popped out of the water, I'm like, holy shit, dude, you're on another level, dude. I Listen, we've all seen fights before. I have never been like, you know what? I'm gonna cross this river to get involved. That guy's an actual hero, dude. They should make a statue of him right there, dude. Just fucking, they should put him in the fucking Olympics, dude. Just as like an additional person. They're like, this is a hero. This is the hero lane. And he's like, start some racist shit over there. I'll be over there in one second, dude. He fucking did it with his shirt on and everything, dude. That chair thing was hilarious. They fucking bonked the guy. They even threw chicks in the water. That was the, f the most amazing thing. They're, usually when there's like a, a race riot happening, the women kind of just like hang out in the back like, no! <laughs> don't, don't! You know, they try to like weasel their way. No, don't! Then these chicks came out. They're like, no, you're getting hands too. Fucking beat the shit out of him. Chucked him into the river. I'm like, this is the greatest episode of Sopranos I've ever seen, dude. <laughs> Unbelievable, dude. Shout outs to them. I can't stop watching those videos, dude. All right, what else? What else do we have? Crop circles. What did you say? Crop circles? Those are uh, the alien things, right? People think it's the aliens, and they do it out in the in the in like the farmlands. They don't do it anymore. They used to. <laughs> You've been keeping up with it. You're like, honestly, like. Around year 2000, they kind of dipped on their production. <laughs> yeah, they're not really doing the same output. You know, some of their, you're like somebody who likes a band. They're like, their earlier work was better. <laughs> now their stuff is not as cool. <laughs> what kind of designs were they doing? They were just doing like circles and shit. And people were like, they're sending us a message, which is so fucking stupid, right? Because they could have done, they could have drawn a dick easy, right? That would have been on, that's the most international symbol there is, right? Just a dick. Um, they could have, they could have just killed us all. That's the, that's the thing with the aliens. Why don't they just kill us? What are they doing, dude? Just kill us all. They're just coming down and leaving clues, dude? Like, how many years of alien fucking blue balls are we going to have until they come down and show us their fucking faces, dude? I'm sick of it, dude. Did you watch the thing on the news where they were like, we have aliens? They got on the news, they're like, we got aliens. And then we're all like, I got rent. <laughs> <laughs> Life sucks, we can't even enjoy aliens, dude. You think they'll take over? You think, that, you think aliens will take over? No, no. I already did. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but you don't think they will. Why don't you think they, why don't you, why don't you think they will? No, I'm talking about the I'm talking to the girl behind you, dog. You don't think they want it? Oh shit. That's a pretty good pickup line, actually. Just walk up to a group of chicks and you're like, I don't even think you guys want this. And girls are into that. They'll be like, what the fuck was that? Holy shit, I gotta talk to this guy real quick. Is he like on TikTok or something? Because I've never been treated this rudely in my life. <laughs> okay, we got another one. We got another one. Sexy nerds. Sexy nerds. Um, why do you feel like that's you? 
Oh, you you feel like your buddy's a sexy yeah. nerd? Very cool, very cool. Do you, how do you feel about that, sir? I don't know. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> this is good though. Your your buddy's gassing you up, trying to give you that confidence, so you can get out there. You know what I mean? Yeah. How do you? How long have you guys known each other? Eight years. Eight years. Wow, you really said it in the most nerdy tone possible. <laughs> this guy is. Eight years. Wow, dude. As a nerd myself, I'm like, damn, I gotta punch this dude. <laughs> Shit, you making me into a bully. God damn, dude. <laughs> Eight years. Wow, and you got the glasses on and everything. You got the little train conductor hat, dude. <laughs> You're living life, dude. <laughs> wow. What what is your what is his thing that that it makes him so nerdy to you? Like what is he doing that you're like, man, you're never gonna get pussy if you keep acting like this? I mean, look at him. Just look at him. <laughs> Damn, dude! This motherfucker's picking you up and then kicking you down. Yeah, dude. Wow. Are you his wingman? Will you sometimes go out and be like, hey, you know, he likes RC cars and he has a girlfriend. Okay, okay. Well, who's your girlfriend? Oh, she's not here. She's not here. Classic nerdic reason. <laughs> Uh, she actually goes to a different school. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not like this fucking loser. Yeah. All right, let's keep it going for Jeremiah. Get him up here. One more time for Asif Ali, thank ladies you, and thank gentlemen. Thank you. How are you, dude? Good, yeah, buddy. Good to see you, man. Um, good to see you too, man. Yeah. Uh, let's this is a good group of people, by the way. We got right, keep it going for yourself. Yeah. Yeah, this, guy, this crowd's been amazing. Yeah. I love this crowd. Have they all been here before? Have you guys all been to the show before? Yeah. <laughs> okay, the nerd, surprisingly, the nerd. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like, I have nothing else to do, my guy. Heck yeah. Um, let's grab a suggestion. Let's see what we can do. Pinatas. 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 Uh, that's one of the few things where uh, no matter what race you are, like it's not cultural appropriation. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Mexican people are like totally cool with everybody They're doing like, it. Down. Because you're buying it. You know what I mean? Like, whatever. You could take something Indian from me, but if you're like, if like, if every time a white girl wore a bindi, she paid fifty dollars for it. Any people would be like, yo, we love this shit. This is incredible. <laughs> like, if I was getting an allocation every time white people did yoga, I'd be like, yo, this is unbelievable. I love this. I love this cultural exchange we're doing. So as long as it can be monetized, then it's chill. Yes, 100%. <laughs> Think about it. Everything that culture, like people ethnically are, are, are mad about, yeah. if there was like a monetary sort exchange, of exchange, yeah. they would be totally cool about it. Okay. I guess that makes sense. I guess... I was gonna say some stuff, but I feel like <laughs> I feel like uh, I just dodged a bullet. Uh, yeah. Of the six thoughts that I just oh, had. Oh no, like, no, no, eh, no 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 no! Maybe shut up, Jeremiah. Maybe uh, yeah yeah yeah. Maybe yeah, let us yeah. uh, steer this one. <laughs> oh no no! The comments are gonna be devastating. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. <laughs> because it's improvised. As I was saying it, I was like, oh yeah, mind meld. I was like, yeah, there's a couple. There's a couple that. <laughs> As long as there's a monetary exchange, it's fine. Yeah. I mean, uh, thank you, my fellow nerds. Can yeah. I yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's grab yeah. another suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> Republicans love that one bit. <laughs> uh, what else we got? Reservations. Uh, what was this? Lizzo. Oh, Lizzo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a thick set of allegations, huh? <laughs> Back those charges up, my guy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, does anybody just thought, like, maybe the dancers were hungry? <laughs> <laughs> That's maybe. true. Right? Yeah. Maybe. I, I, the idea, it's, it's so confident, too, of, like, that's the thing about fame, I feel like, is like whatever you are and you're advocating for, if you become famous, that supersedes your entire personality. Right, because she's not a big girl anymore. She's a famous person. Mm. That's different, right? That allowed her. Like, if I, I'm not tall, but if I got really fucking famous and there was a short guy working on a TV show with me, I'd be like, get this fucking tiny ass dude away from me, dude. <laughs> I don't work with tiny ass dudes. <laughs> and they're like, you're short. I'd be like, no, 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 I'm famous. This is different. Yeah. I think that's why she was thinking about it. Yeah, I mean, as long as there's a monetary exchange, yeah, exactly. I don't see. <laughs> That's it. And those girls got fired. 
Yeah. Right? They got fired, so there was no exchange. So Well, they're going to get paid now. They're right? going to get paid. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't wait. Uh, <laughs> let's grab another one. Jinko jeans. Jinko jeans. Jinko jeans. Yes. Okay, okay. Well, I'm 19. I don't really know what that is, but... <laughs> The Can th- you handle this? The, th- the thickest 19 year old beard ever. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, I had Jinko jeans. You I, had them? Yeah. Oh, I couldn't afford them. Heck yeah. You had the big ones, so they'd cover. The whole thing is like it covers your I shoe, had, too, right? I had Jinko shorts. I couldn't commit to the. <laughs> I couldn't commit to, to the bell bottom pants. I was like, well, let's not get too crazy here. <laughs> I'm still trying to impress the Lord and try to get to heaven. You know yeah, yeah, yeah. And they got those big pockets, and they give you the big pockets Giant. at an age where you have. Nothing. Well, you like, like you don't have. I I could use them now. You know, I put a full fucking thirteen inch MacBook Pro in one, dude. <laughs> you know not I mean just full eight by eleven headshots in the other yeah. one, dude. You could really fit some shit. A full sandwich. A you could fit some stuff. real stuff back here. No, that, those would be convenient for oh, sure. Yeah, dude. Do you remember the carpenter pants from like Old Navy? Yeah, and the one like with that? the the with hammer, the, the hammer loop. Yeah. How many nine year olds have you ever seen pick up a hammer? <laughs> Put it in there, (laughs) head to school. Well, you know, uh, work is tough this time of year. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, they always had that style, but I never used, I never utilized the little, like, the the little loop. The little loop. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the side, like the three stitching. When I first got, like, a shitty cell phone, I'd put it in there. Oh, really? And be like, (laughs) excuse me. (laughs) The longest (laughs) reach ever. Yeah, yeah. excuse Excuse me. Excuse me. And I'd be like, it's my mother. (laughs) Hello. Did you ever have a T Mobile sidekick? Uh, no, I could not afford that too. Those guys were, you you had one? Yeah. Yeah, You were living in the fucking future, dude. I was already like, I was always eight models behind what was popping off. Like, remember when people got the, uh, the Matrix phone? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was literally the entire selling point was it goes, that's it. (laughs) Yeah. It was actually a piece of shit phone. Right. But they're like, does it do the thing? And they're like, yeah, yeah. And they're like, all right, well, I guess I'm fucking red pilling it tonight. You know what I mean? (laughs) Let me call my mom. Yeah, it was all about the sound that those things yes. made. Yeah, yeah, for sure. My God, let's get let's get another one. Yeah, I love this Scooby. Who said Scooby Doo? You said Scooby Doo. Do you like Scooby Doo? Is that like always? Always. always. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen some animated in your life for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, Scoop, we gotta yeah. get out of here. <laughs> I think the pussy's hot after Scoop. <laughs> Old man McCrary, who is you the whole time? You dastardly children, let me come on your face. <laughs> guys, keep me going for Awesome Ali. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you. That was Stand Up On The Spot. Did we have a good time tonight? Keep it going for all the comedians that you saw tonight. Asif Ali. Mark Norman. Luke Knoll. Lance Canstopoulos. Jesse Johnson. I'm Jeremiah Watkins. Come see the show every second Tuesday of the month live at the Comedy Store and follow us on YouTube. I love you guys. Have a great night. Thanks so much for being here. Have you subscribed yet? Make sure you leave a like and a comment before you go. New episodes release every other Monday. Thanks for the support.